In this video traders, we're gonna look at why a small trading account gives you a big advantage. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome also. Okay, so I hear this quite often. Hey, people say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start trading. I've got 100 grand saving, 50 grand saving, 10 grand, 20 grand, a million, whatever it may be. I'm gonna put it into a trading account and I'm gonna trade my way up to a decent sum of money, wherever they're starting from, whatever they call it, decent. And I think, okay, have you got any experience? No, I've never done trading before. And I go, oh, I cringe a little bit because I think I don't believe that's the best thing to do. I think you need to start off with a small trading account. And so in this video, we're gonna run through a few advantages of a small trading account over a big trading account. Also, we'll touch on some reasons why a big trading account is beneficial, but I just wanna really focus on the fact that a small account is a good place to start. All right, the first thing is, it's, you've got skin in the game. The real reason you want to trade with real money, if we say the word real enough times, is that you have some skin in the game. If you don't have skin in the game, you're on demo, you're on paper, they've got their place, but it's nowhere near the real world in trading. You have to have some skin in the game. And importantly, just having something, as in, what I mean by skin in the game is just having some money on the line, by the way. It's just having some reason to keep an eye on the trades, to manage the trades, to look for the trades. You've got some commercial gain, you've got some commercial loss. So you've got some reason to do the correct kind of process for your trades and all those kind of things that go into becoming a good trader. If you've got too much money on the line, then this makes it so much harder for you. It's a hard enough process as it is when you're a successful trader and you're doing well to increase your position size to a more meaningful amount. That's a hard challenge even when you've kind of got a good strategy that's working, let alone starting from scratch and trying to learn all the things as a trader and having to overcome that intense feeling of, hey, this is a serious amount of money I'm, I'm, I'm making or losing. Just get rid of that, use a small account, just put something so that you've got a very small bit of money flowing to and from your account so that it's actually more than a demo, but you've got something. So small account, good, 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 good reason to have a small account for that. Some skin in the game, but not your whole skin, if <laughs> that makes sense. Right, okay, a blow up isn't damaging. Listen, you are likely to blow up an account or you're likely to do some damage to an account. Sure, if you put a million quid in, you're gonna do well to blow it up, but you, you're probably gonna do significant damage to that account if you've not traded before. Make mistakes, you do this, you do that. There's all the mistakes you wanna make. So the point is, make the mistakes with a small account. Even if you have a decent sum of money that you intend to actually allocate to trading at some point, just split it. Take a small little bit, put it in account. If you make mistakes and blow up, that's fine. It doesn't matter, it's an irrelevant amount. It's a small amount of money. It's not gonna change your life. You can do that and put it bluntly, guys, most people will, may not blow up, but they'll do some significant damage to their account. I don't know anybody, I'm sure there are people occasional, but the odds are stacked against you and they're likely that you're gonna blow up or you're gonna do some serious kind of draw down your account. Better off doing that with a small account than a large account, right? Because we will learn the same lessons and there's still gonna be a painful enough lessons and you're still gonna make lots of notes about it and you're still gonna realize all the mistakes you made and improve. Maybe you have another one that have a drastic drawdown. Maybe you, have another, but you can afford to have two or three top ups of a small account than if you put all your money in, have a drastic loss, you've learned from it. Yeah, but now you've got half your money. You have another drastic loss, you've, learned, you've lost all the money. There's no point you can do the learning process with a small amount. So a blow up isn't damaging to your net worth with a small account. All right, third one is you're forced to be selective. If you've got a big account, you can trade everything you want. You can have a massive amount of positions. You don't have to worry about focusing your energy into one or two things because you've got a lot of money on the line. You've got a lot of money to margin. You've got a lot of money to be able to trade any asset you want. If you've got a small account, you might find you can only hold two trades because the margin requirement is what it is. And so you have to be forced to look for the best trades. If your money's being used up in one trade, you have to say, is that the best use of my capital? I've only got enough to do one more trade you know, and allocate it accordingly. You don't, it becomes a little bit 
of a better way of approaching trading. Rather than taking many, many trades, you're just focusing on the very best setups. You have to be you're forced to be more selective because you don't have as much ammunition, so to speak, as you would if you had a huge account. Okay. Next one I've got is you learn proper risk management. So, you know, you will end up making mistakes, not necessarily blowing up, but you will end up making mistakes with your position sizing. You will end up making mistakes with your stop loss position. You will end up making mistakes with your targets. All these things, I mean, not mistakes, but you'll end up improving and learning as you go along. Far better to do this again with a small account so that you can know, hey, what's my best risk management for the style I have as a trader? But don't forget, if you're a brand new trader, you don't really know what strategy you're going to use. You don't really know what style you're going to trade. All you know is, I want to trade and make money. So why not take that burden away from you and say, hey, this is a learning tool. Let me learn my risk management. Where's my stop likely to be to suit my strategy? What's my position size? This, this, and this. Learn that with the small account, and then you can just multiply it when you decide you feel comfortable enough to bring in some more funds. So learning the proper risk management, again, without having that pressure and that burden of a huge account or potentially large account, on your shoulders. And this is another, another one which is pretty similar to the blow up, but you can make mistakes and not worry. Not necessarily blow up. This is something like, hey, you know, we all make little mistakes like, oh, I ended up, um, you know, using the, the wrong type of order when you're starting out. This is this happens, guys. It's just operational mistakes that you won't make later on in a trader, but you will as a beginning trader. Hey, I used a stop instead of a limit. Hey, I didn't I, I didn't adjust the slippage factor on this. Hey, I ended up doubling up my position instead of going short. I ended up doing this instead of doing that. If it costs you a few quid, it doesn't really matter. If it costs you a few grand, that's a mistake you don't want to be making again. And you can learn from the mistake. It costs you 10, 20, 30 quid. Not a problem, is it? It doesn't matter. You say, you know what? I made a mistake from that. I went long instead of short. I pound a point. I've noticed I've made a mistake. and sort it out. You're not going to do it again because you recognize it's a mistake. But if you did that with a bigger size, and then it just doesn't make any sense to... You learn the lesson cheaply. And that's the whole point in this. So really, that's the theme of the whole thing, guys. You can learn lessons cheaply. You can make mistakes cheaply. You can get education cheaply or cheaper than you would if you had a large account. You can play at the table with small stakes. It's kind of like, you know, if you think of a poker game, a little bit different with poker because you play at different tables. You play at a table with small stakes. The competitors are generally of a lower quality and a lower caliber, a lower skill level than those at a high table. If you're going to try a, a trade, if you're going to play at a 25 grand buy-in, those guys are going to be on the ball. They're going to be knowing every little trick and everything. They're going to be good players. You play at a £10 buy-in, then they're probably not going to be that good. But the point of it is you can learn the whole aspect of the game as you can with trading without spending a lot of money. So really, really advantageous to trade with a small account to start off with, even if you are fortunate enough to have a large amount of money to allocate to trading, I would always advise sec sectioning it off putting a small amount in. And also the other thing is, guys, you can put a small amount in and allocate other stuff to edu education as well. So, you know, there's some good, solid education out there that you can purchase, some premium education out there. <clears throat> you know, you can do that as well alongside your small account. So make the mistakes, put the time in, put the effort in on a small account, blow it up, not a problem, blow it up, not a problem. You've allocated some capital to learning the trade and craft the trading without doing any damage to actually the big pot that you're going to utilize once you've gained the skill to grow into whatever your goal happens to be. All right, guys, advantages of a small trading account. See you next one. Take care. Bye bye.